Hello again, church family. I come to you today from um, my parents' home. This is my mom, Helen Keith, and my dad, Lloyd Keith. And we're gonna share a song with you together for you today, or with you today. And before we sing it, it's called My Lord Will Send to Moses. And uh, so I'd like for us to think about times in our lives when we feel like, um, when we've had a difficult time and we have sensed that feeling of uh, the Lord delivering us from that or helping us through that and in, um, in a certain way sending a Moses to help us. And the scripture that I'd like to read to go along with that is Exodus 3, starting with verse 11. It says, But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? So he said, I will certainly be with you. And this shall be a sign to you that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel. So, and this is re referring to... Uh, when the Israelites were enslaved in Egypt and God sent Moses to to bring them out of that land and into the Canaan land and uh, we know that it took them quite a few years but the Israelites did did eventually go into Canaan land so I'm gonna have my dad speak a little bit and then we are going to sing our song I just want to tell you about our moment my most moment uh, in life, we had the two or three, but the main one was when my wife was in Cleveland in the clinic up there and they were trying to do a stem cell to, uh, she'd be in there for three weeks of taking, and once she got stem cells, three weeks uh, of recovery and taking that treatment, which had been, uh, they told her it'd be worth three weeks of her life. And plus we were going to have to stay in the Cleveland, the Cleveland area for three months. And we were really uh, concerned about that. I'm not really fond of Cleveland. We don't want to step there for three months, but at the same time we wanted healing. So uh, they didn't get enough uh, stem cells uh, so they sent us home for her to build up some more stem cells. While we were here, she did the uh, treatments here in Parkersburg uh, for uh, a while. And when they checked her after that was over, she had came clear. So uh, had a had a freedom from the can uh, cancer at that time. Uh, so we went back to Cleveland. We didn't have to go through that. That was a Moses moment for us that uh, he let us out of that time. And of course we've had others as well. But that's what ours uh, one I think the most of in life. And so. We're going to sing a song for you. My Lord will send a Moses. Whatever is going on in your life, uh, he can send a Moses to you, no matter what it is. My Lord sent Moses out to seek King Pharaoh, told him to loose my people and let them go. They were all burdened down with trouble and doubt. My Lord sent Moses out to seek King Pharaoh, my Lord
<laughs> Dear Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you've given us. Thank you for all the times that you have sent a Moses to help us through uh, difficult times, Lord. And we not only thank you for those, but we thank you for future times that we know you're going to be with us and see us through, Lord. And I just uh, pray for all those out there who may be hurting right now, that you would just comfort and heal, Lord, and just um, help help us all in making decisions as we move forward through meeting in the sanctuary together and all the churches that are, that are trying to muddle through all of this, Lord. And I pray, pray that you would be with those who have lost loved ones recently, Lord, as well. Touch and comfort them and uh, just go with us now. And we thank you and praise you for all that you have done for us and for all that you are and that you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. God bless.